Quick recap on video two. If you're hell-bent on working for one of the top-end engineering companies at the very pinnacle of your profession, you'll need to know how to design complex geometry, work in small and highly packed spaces, eliminate costly mistakes, produce incredibly detail-oriented designs, produce complex parts using casting, apply basic motion analysis, apply static stress analysis, use SOLIDWORKS library components as start models and use configurations. That's why we created the Harley-Davidson four-stroke motorcycle engine tutorial for you. The motorcycle engine course will be slightly more advanced than the Essentials of Machine Design course, but still very achievable by the patient but eager student. The geometry of an engine is much more complicated and the small intricate pieces require much more setup from orienting planes to intricate mates. The tutorial is great for someone who has the basics of SOLIDWORKS down and is looking at advancing his or her talents rapidly. So as a real life SOLIDWORKS project we're going to train you in the advanced skills only the top 5% of users possess. Imagine designing a Harley Davidson four-stroke motorcycle engine step by step in SOLIDWORKS. Seem too good to be true? I know how this looks. I used to imagine that learning advanced SOLIDWORKS skills would take years until I realised that I really needed a guide to show me where to start and what to do on real life projects. Continue with the Harley Davidson four stroke motorcycle engine. You want to grab a pen and paper or open SOLIDWORKS in another window because this is vital stuff. Now for the animation you've been waiting for. One of the things used in industry extensively but not taught in SOLIDWORKS training is casting and how to produce cast part process drawings. Many essentials of what a successful engineer must understand to successfully and confidently work with castings. We will be creating a basic stress analysis. This is a very critical topic that is used in almost every industry and very poorly covered in other SOLIDWORKS training. Stress analysis about how to keep design parts with the right material, the right geometry and with the least amount of material advised in order to promote environmental sustainability and keep costs reasonable. We will also teach one strategy to promote efficiency by using toolbox for common parts. Parts such as sprockets, chain links etc can be found in toolbox and frequently used custom parts can be saved using this feature. Awesome, isn't it? Can't wait for video four. See you soon. Bye.